All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Wu Xianfeng, Jason Grenier, English Through Popular Culture. Uh, this is a quick review lecture of the song Stagger Lee to get you ready for your final exam. Stagger Lee is an example of a murder ballad, we said. This is the story of an actual murder that happened uh, Christmas 1895. A man named Stag Lee Shelton murdered another man named Billy Lyons, and this song told the story. The first version we listened to uh, was the version done by Mr. Lloyd Price, came out in 1958. It was a number one hit record for Lloyd Price at that time. Let's go through the lyrics here. You can listen to the song on your own. I can't put songs in these videos. It raises copyright issues with YouTube, okay? So you're gonna have to, if you have not already done so, just go on over to YouTube and look for Stagger Lee by Lloyd Price. There is, of course, a file with the lyrics on e-learning for you. You can also find the lyrics online with a quick Google search here. So first verse started, night was clear, moon was yellow, leaves coming down, standing on the corner, I heard my bulldog bark, barking at two men gambling in the dark. So this is how it starts. We have two men gambling. We know gambling means betting money on some game of chance, okay? Uh, Stagger Lee and Billy, these are the two men who are gambling late at night. Stagger Lee throws seven, Billy swears he threw eight. So. We know they're gambling, they're betting money, and we see the verb throw. Throw tells us that they're not playing cards, they are rolling dice. We also call this shooting craps. This is a dice game, okay? And we see Staggerly throws seven, Billy swears it's eight. What this means is that there is an argument starting and Staggerly thinks Billy is cheating. And this is where the problem starts. Staggerly tells Billy, I can't let you go with that. You've won all my money and my brand new Stetson hat. Yes, Staggerly cannot accept losing to Billy because he thinks Billy is cheating. So of course he's not happy to lose. What has he lost? Two things, his money, all of it, and his brand new Stetson hat. This is an expensive, good looking cowboy hat. So Staggerly is not willing to accept it. He says, I can't let you go. Not gonna happen. All right, so Staggerly goes home. He gets his 44. We know a 44 is a big handgun. And he says, I'm going to the bar to pay the debt I owe. This is a strange way of saying that he wants revenge. He doesn't owe a, a debt to Billy. He thinks Billy has something that doesn't belong to Billy. He thinks Billy has things that belong to Stagger Lee. So Stagger Lee really wants three things here. He wants to get his money and his hat back. He wants revenge, right? He feels he's been cheated. He's been done wrong here by Billy. So he wants revenge and three, I should change this to three, I suppose. He also wants to teach Billy a lesson about messing with Stagger Lee, a man like him. All right, so Stagger Lee goes to the bar, stands in the barroom door, says nobody move, and pulls his 44. Of course, he brandishes this weapon, this handgun, starts waving the gun around, telling nobody to move. Now, Stagger Lee cries, Billy, oh, please don't take my life. I've got three little children and a very sickly wife. So in this scene, we see Billy begging for mercy. He is pleading for his life, saying, come on, don't do this. I've got a wife. I've got kids. But Stagger Lee, of course, as we know, is not a compassionate man. He doesn't listen to these pleas for mercy. He shoots Billy and kills him. And that is the end of the first version. And again, that tells the actual story of a murder that happened in St. Louis, Missouri, 1895. An example of a murder ballad song about somebody getting killed by somebody else. That was the first version of the song. Then we moved on and we looked at the Grateful Dead version that came out years later, 1978. The late, great Jerry Garcia and the late, great Robert Hunter teamed up to write this song. They focused on one particular detail here, the wife, okay? You've got a, a woman now mentioned in this song. She's going to be a widow now, right? Her husband has been killed. She's a widow. They decided to continue the song by writing the story of Billy's widow. And her name is Delia in this song. All right, so the song started in a familiar way. 1940, Xmas Eve, full moon over town. Stagger Lee met Billy, blew that poor boy down. Do you know what he shot him for? What do you make of that? Because Billy the Lions threw the lucky dice, one Stagger Lee's Stetson hat. This is the familiar background. We know all this from the first version, right? This is this story again. We said that they got some details wrong here, like the year, okay? 
that they made a mistake, that's no problem. It doesn't matter. It's the same familiar story to us. Now, this is where this song gets interesting. We have Delia and she is down at the police station. She is talking to Bio, Bio the policeman, and she is asking Bio, Bio, how can this be? Tell me. You arrest the girls for turning tricks, but you're scared of Stagger Lee. Stagger Lee's a madman and he shot my Billy D. Bio, go get him or give the job to me. So this is Delia down at the police station demanding justice. She wants the police to take action. She wants the police to go and catch Stagger Lee, the man who has murdered her husband. And she tells Bio, the policeman, basically, he is a coward for not doing his job. He's afraid to do it. You're scared of this guy, this, this madman, this crazy person who shot my husband. Go get him or let me do it. If you're afraid to do it, I will do it myself. All right, so she's accusing him of being a coward, saying you, you arrest the girls for turning tricks, you bother prostitutes who are trying to work, but uh, you're afraid to go get my husband's killer. All right, so now Bio has been called a coward by the widow, Delia, De Lyons, and he needs to respond. And his response is, Delia, oh, sweet Delia, how the hell can I arrest him? He's twice as big as me. Don't ask me to go downtown. I won't come back alive. Not only is that mother big, he packs a 45. So basically, Bio admits, he says, yes, I am a coward. You're right. I don't want to die. This guy will kill me just like he killed your husband. And he explains why. He is afraid of Stagger Lee. Stagger Lee obviously is a well-known character in the community. He is well-known to police. Everybody knows he is a bad guy, a dangerous guy. What makes him so dangerous? Well, he's big, okay? He's twice as big as the policeman. He packs a 45. This means he carries a gun. In this case, it's a 45. In the original version by Lloyd Price, we heard 44. It does not matter. Big handgun. So he's armed with a handgun carries it all the time. He's big, right? And also he is known as a madman, a, a, a dangerous, deranged, mentally unstable person and a murderer. All right, so these are the reasons why Bio is afraid to do his job. Staggerly is well known in this community as a bad guy, a dangerous guy, a big guy with a big gun who's not afraid to use it, kill people, all right? But Bio, Delia says, just give me a gun. He shot my Billy dead. I'm going to see him hung. This is Delia. She doesn't give up. Police says, there's nothing I can do. She does not give up. She says, okay, you don't want to do it. I'll do it. Give me a gun. Shot my husband. I'm going to see him hung. We said this is important because it shows Delia wants justice. She wants to see him hung. She wants the death penalty. She does not want to kill Staggerly herself. She wants justice. For her husband. She wants the justice system to do its job. She wants the police to do their job. All right. So she gets the gun. She goes down to the club. She steps through her husband's blood. How calm under pressure. She steps up to Stagger Lee at the bar and she says, buy me a gin fizz love. She asks Stagger Lee to buy her a, a drink. All right. Now, this is not because she loves Stagger Lee. Of course not. She hates this man. She wants him dead. She wants to see him hung. But I think this is, she flirts with him. She acts sweet to Stagger Lee. She actually steps up to her husband's killer and asks the murderer to buy her a drink. Not because he likes him. I think there's a couple of reasons. I think she's, she wants to look into the killer's eyes and she wants the killer to see who is bringing his downfall. It is Delia. And I think also she wants Stagger Lee to feel relaxed so she can work her plan, right? She doesn't want to murder him. She's got a gun. She could have just shot him in the head, but she didn't. She walks up to him and asks him to buy her a drink. I think she wants Stagger Lee to feel calm and relaxed so her plan will work. Remember, her plan is to see him hung, not to shoot Stagger Lee herself. Stagger Lee lit a cigarette and she shot him. Delia shoots him and we can tell from the place she chooses to shoot him, Delia wants Stagger Lee to suffer as much as possible before he hangs. She blows the smoke off her revolver. <sighs> blows the smoke off the gun, and has him dragged to City Hall. Bio, she says, see you hang him high. Make sure you hang him high. He shot my Billy dead. Now he's got to die. This shows Delia has accomplished her goal. She is uh, seeing her husband's killer brought to justice, right? She's getting revenge. She's a 
avenging the murder of her husband, seeing Staggerly brought to justice, she wants to see him hang. And then Delia goes walking on Singapore Street, whistling a tune, look out Staggerly. Well, this tells us she feels pleased with herself for accomplishing her goal. Now, this, all this behavior on Delia's part here, walking through her husband's blood, right? First of all, telling the police he's afraid to do her job, accusing the police of, of being a coward. That shows she's brave, right? Um, telling the police, give me a gun. I'm going to go catch this guy myself, this guy you're afraid of. Stepping through her husband's blood to go and apprehend the killer. Stepping up to the murderer and, and having a drink with a murderer. Uh, later, after this has been done, after she shot this man, shot the murderer, and told the police to take him and hang him, she goes for a walk and whistles a tune and sings a song. All this behavior together shows that Delia has sang froid. We said this quality of being cold-blooded. Sang froid is the ability to remain calm when it's dangerous and difficult, okay? We can also call it poise under pressure, grace under pressure. You don't crack, you don't panic, you don't freak out, you stay calm and do what you have to do when things are difficult and dangerous. And this shows what a strong female heroine Delia DeLions is. One of the great female characters, I think, in all of popular music. That's it for Stagger Lee. Uh, things you should think about. Think about Delia and her behavior. Um, think about Stagger Lee and what it is that makes Stagger Lee so dangerous. Think about everything you know about Stagger Lee. I might ask you, tell me everything you know about this man. You should be able to describe him based on the lyrics in the song. That's it for the review for Stagger Lee.